to uh, do all those parties and show up at all of those events and shake hands with people that normally you wouldn't particularly find uh, uh, as attractive. You know? So there, there were plenty of scenes about that. I have a question for Mr. Tony. Uh, do all your films treat the audience as um, adults? Um, so I'm wondering how frustrating it can be when you're putting some kind of political message across that people in our industry are obsessed with who's on the red carpet on your arm. Well, you know, I, 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 I understand both worlds. I grew up around it all. I understand it. Um, I'm interested in making films that ask questions and don't particularly provide answers. And, because I grew up in that era of filmmaking, which took place when there were a tremendous amount of things going on in the country. There was, uh, you know, in the 60s and 70s, you had everything. You had the civil rights movement, the anti-war movement, the women's rights movement, and drug counterculture. And those were reflected later in film. And I think there's a lot of things going on in the country and in the world right now that are starting to, again, be reflected in film. And I like those. I like films that do that. And on the other side of it, I 